Hey guys, it's Mel. Don't judge me by my mess in the background. <laughs> I just wanted to share with you a card. And I was telling my husband that today we have a lot going. I have my um, nephew's birthday party. And I still have to make him a card. And I still have to make pasta salad. And I still have to get Maya ready. And my nephew is turning four. And he is obsessed. And I mean obsessed with like anything camo. So anything camouflage. He wears like 10 different patterns of camouflage every day. And there's no telling him that he doesn't match or anything. He does not care. The more camo, the better. So we, it's going to be a detailed party. And I decided, me and my sister that um, just came home from Spain. And even my husband just told me today that he will too. Um, we're going to paint our faces like camouflage, um, to show up to the party to support my little nephew. Um, and I'm sure he'll love it. So, um, anyway, and I got him these little like camo binoculars, like real legit binoculars for, I guess, real hunters or whatever. So hopefully he'll, um, enjoy them. But anyway, I just want to share with you this card that I made, um, real quick before I, um, start to get ready for all this stuff. But, um, this is just a little winter card and I made using my... Goodwill finds a while back. I showed you guys I got this ribbon and there's a ton on here and I've been sharing it with a lot of my crafty friends with a lot of you guys and um, I still have a ton left and this this one and it's funny because these two were bought at two different times and um, but they both say a lion product so I guess it was like an older um, ribbon brand. But look how much this one came with 25 yards and this one came with 40 yards. Now, when would you see that nowadays that wouldn't cost, you know, so much money that you'd be able to get such, you know, so much? Now they give you, now they charge you more and give you a whole lot less, but me saying it's not going to change that. So anyway, here's my card. Um, so I used that ribbon and I used the goldie ribbon on the sides there just as like a layer piece. I used this die right here, which is um, the Tivoli um, by Memory Box die. And I cut it out, and at first I cut it out in this brown suede color to match the background. It's a, it's a uh, Stampin' Up! cardstock that's a little textured, if you can see it. And I also cut it out in vellum, but I planned on either using both and layer them or one or the other. And the vellum just didn't show up enough on this card. And when I layered them both together, it didn't. It made it not look like a snowflake anymore. It kind of looked like a crazy spider leggy thing. So um, I decided not to go with that and just went with the brown. And then I used a little heart embellishment in the center. Um, and then also use the little embellishment here. And then this is a paper tray ink die. Um, here it is over here. Sorry, I'm zooming you in. This is just a paper tray ink, um, I think it was like a card die. And I use this a lot because of how wide it is. You can fit the bigger sentiments on it. Um, and I just want to show you, I embossed this and I go on kicks. Um, I... I'll use heat embossing, you know, right away. I mean, a lot of times, and then I'll go off it for a while and go to something else, but that's the way I work, but I'm sure you guys do that too. But I tried out my new embossing powders. <clears throat> if you guys don't remember, I got a silver and a tinsel silver, and then this gold one that I used that I ended up going with is actually an older gold one. I'll just show you them real quick. So the gold one I used was by um, Stamp and Stuff, Stampendous, and it's called Pirate Gold. Whoops, Pirate Gold. And then the tinsel embossing powder is by Recollections, and I didn't like this one, and I'll show you why in a second. And then the silver one, the detail one that I'll show you is by Stampendous as well, because I wanted the Recollections brand, but detail is where to go. So if you haven't started your embossing powder collection yet, which I wish I hadn't, because I wouldn't even have bothered buying the regular ones, I would have get all detail. But I just want to show you, I ended up choosing the gold, even though I really, really tend to go more silver and but this card because of the gold um, foiling and the ribbon I wanted it to try to match and I inked it with the gold but first I did it and I cut it out three times and I wanted to see what it looked better but this is the t how the tinsel came out as you can see it's a little distorted a little you know it's hard to make out what it says and I want to show you the difference now this was the detail the silver detail let me say so look how much better you can see between this is the tinsel and I heated it from behind um, so that it didn't, you know, melt the tinsel or whatever, but, so, I don't really like that tinsel one, so, I'd go with the detail. So, this one wasn't detail, but it came out pretty, pretty good for the gold, and I don't have a gold detail powder, so that'll work for now. So, it was just a quick, easy card, um, and then I just added some matching paper on the inside, and I still have the stamp on the inside, but just wanted to share that with you guys, and I'll probably be sharing a birthday, um, card with you later today, so. I hope you're having a good Saturday so far. Bye, guys.